Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dope Center 930 here. Um, sorry, I'm gonna have to be kind of quiet in this video because everybody's asleep here. It is almost 11 o'clock at night, uh, but I have to leave um, tomorrow really early for school, and I'm gonna be gone all day. And a ton of new stuff was released today. Um, I just couldn't wait till tomorrow, so I figured I would make you guys a quick video because, like I said, there's a ton of new good stuff out. So let's get started here. Okay, so for one, um, a uh, new lizard toolbox 1.44 and gecko 1.26 with xgd3 burner support was released uh, it says busy weekend we have updated several tools for the wonderful release of this weekend there was an update for samsung lt plus 2.01 and also the lt max firmware was released by c43 this lt max firmware is for selected light on dvd burners and now will allow full area right even with verify that will generate the most accurate XG3 copy ever thanks to C43 and it says below is a resume of what you need to update and it's a list of things you're gonna have to change for um, for the new update so I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you guys on that it says um light on I has 24 B rebadges and cross lagging info since the announcement of C forever's DVD burner firmware I thought I would start a thread about the rebadged I has B drives as the light on batch drives may become harder to find. Buying a rebadge drive should also also guarantees you a MediaTek chipset based drive. Whereas buying a light on drive you could also get an NEC chipset drive rebadged Sony Optiric. Um, so that's that it shows right here um, different disk drives that have confirmed um, confirmed disk drives which I'm assuming are compatible with the new um, the new firmware that C Forever released to be able to burn the XGD3 backups onto regular dual layer disks. So I'll put a link for that. There's a ton of information on that. Uh, what else? Okay, this this I think is awesome. This is probably the coolest thing I think out of all the updates. Uh, a thing called Easy GG Build version 0 0.3 was released. It says Rogero released Easy Build uh, Easy GG Build version 0 0.3. A tool that will make it easier to create a GG Build NAND image for the reset glitch hack. PS3 developer Rogero has released another new version of his Easy GG Build GUI via our forum for making reset glitch hack images for the Xbox 360. This brings it up to version 0.3. Check out the changes below. It says what's new fixed? Added best pigs FCRT extractor, which allows auto extracting of SCRT bin FCRT dot bin dot meta. No need for manual extracting of the two files using 360 flash dump tool for Trinity. Uh, removed a Xenon type from selection menu, added Trinity notifications, added 360 flash tool version 0 0.97, added different menu selection checks to avoid wrong user input. The program is now considered fully automated for all console types including Trinity. So that's pretty sick. Well, that's really sick actually, that's awesome. Uh, it says X key update web interfaces. Web interfaces are coming along nicely. Here are some examples. So I guess XKey is working on some of their web interfaces and there's some screenshots of that. So I can put a link of that for you guys so you can check it out. It's just two two brief pictures. Um, okay, lastly it says Maximus rollback on XGD3 burner support, DG165 update as well as kamikaze template. It says we found a problem on the current Lizard TBX burner flashing method. We overlooked the EEP ROM update on the drives. We will review in depth the whole burner flashing code and we might end up releasing custom file set for them. Meanwhile, we, rec we recommend use the included PC utilities to flash your burner's firmware. We have issued Gecko 1.27 and TBX 1.46 with the right options removed on the drive to, to prevent problems to users. So definitely look at that. There's a lot of info on that. Um, I haven't gotten too into Maximus. I don't know their products too well, and like that, so I won't give my input on there. But yeah, that's that. That's just pretty much the sum up of everything. There's a lot more details, and I will put the links so you guys can check it out yourself. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, um, you know you appreciate that I keep you guys as up to date as I possibly can with my videos. Um, and that about does it. Oh, um, also, hopefully, I'll be receiving. Um, an X doc, if you don't know what that is, it's an ISO emulator, uh, much like the X key as well as the Wasabi. Um, I emailed 
the sales department um, asking if I could sample one of their products and make a review on my YouTube channel for you guys and a tutorial and um, you know give my input on what I think of the product and if I like it I'll obviously help promote it so I'm hoping um, I'm hoping I'll be getting one I don't know they emailed me back and said they want to check out my channel and stuff like that so um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated and let you know whether they accepted my request or not so Okay, alright, well this is Dope Center 930, um, once again with another one of my Xbox 360 hacking and modding updates, and I am out.